Welcome to the week one weekly briefing and this is the wrap up of week one just to give you a quick bit of update as to the status of the subject, answer a couple of commonly asked questions and get you ready for week two. So we're still in session one, the first teaching event for session one will take place in the Thursday of week two, dates are on screen. Your tutorial allocations, we have had a problem with Wattle this week. Uh, for whatever reason, Wattle decided that only people who were located in the year 2015 were allowed to change their tutorials, register for tutorials or change their groups. Hopefully we have resolved that issue, but uh, effectively we will call the tutorial registrations open as of Monday week two. Just to always on the weekly updates, I will give you the uh, the heads up on how far you are away from the next assessment challenge. You are one month out, so relax. It's plenty of time to get the briefing materials together before the take home exam emerges on the horizon. And a couple of the bullet points for the weekly briefings. We have had some unfortunate technical problems with Wattle this week. Those should be resolved. But like uh, I think all of our colleagues this semester, nothing went right at 100% in week one, whether it was venue changes, system failures, or things just straight up not working. Uh, by the week two, we are expecting that you will be able to move in and out of your assignment groups at your own pace uh, as you see fit. You should have self-management of the assignment groups and you should also be able to enroll in your tutorials at the start of week two. In preparation for week two, if you are coming to the teaching event, remember to book your ticket through Eventbrite. The Eventbrite link is in the course outline and it is in the Wattle site. You do need to reserve space because the venue is smaller than the number of students enrolled. However, traditionally we have never had greater than one third of an enrollment express an interest in attending an event and we have capacity for more than one third. There is going to be a video of the slide deck. The slide deck is currently available if you want to do your background reading and preparation in advance. There are also links to third party and external readings. There are going to always be either YouTube videos or blog posts or journal articles or magazine articles for you to look at to supplement your week and supplement your readings for each session. So what I'd like you to do in preparation for the teaching event is I'd like you to, if you are coming along, register, read the, look over the, the PowerPoint file when the video goes live, watch the video, have a look at the external readings and roll on down to the sessions Thursday and Friday. If there are, as always, questions far away over either email, Twitter, or booking in a face-to-face -face meeting, uh, to deal with one of the most popular questions of the week, the answer is yes, there are only six teaching events and six tutorials. This structure has been built in response to student attendance rates over the last couple of years, a challenge that was issued by the Vice Chancellor and the teaching division of ANU to, as a result of the renovations in Union Court, reimagine our teaching experience and our need for teaching spaces. And also um, our very own head of school suggesting that now is the time for us to really think about how could we disrupt the model of the modern business school. So as part of financial services marketing and marketing for financial services, we've set out to do things differently and I appreciate you coming with me on the journey.